Strixon irons have been very popular in iron fittings at Second Swing so far in 2021. We've got all three Strixon ZX models here to test today, and we'll tell you how they compare. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at the Minnetonka location. Today we are outside at Les Bolstead Golf Course on the driving range testing out some irons that have been popular in 2021, the Shrixon ZX irons. All three models, we've got ZX4, ZX5, and ZX7. Um, we've done some testing already on ZX5 and ZX7, uh, but ZX4 is a little bit more uh, recent, I would guess, in terms of being released. So um, you've got all three club heads in your hand, Thomas. Um, what do you think about those? I know they look, all three of them look fantastic. I mean, they look fantastic, they feel fantastic, and they've been killing it this year in fittings. Mm -hmm. Rixon for sure has definitely been one of our top fitting irons all the way through the, this, this spring and earlier in, in the winter too. So it's been fun to test them inside. I know like for example, Strixon, they've got that VT sole, mm -hmm. which is designed for those players that have maybe a little bit more of a steeper attack angle to bring their spin rate down. Well, it's sometimes harder to hit down on the ball and having a steep attack angle hitting off a mat inside. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, it doesn't feel very good. So I want to test it out today. I want to hit some shots, see some good turf interaction, and see how they all compare. Yeah, no, that's what the big thing about that sole is the turf interaction. And of course, indoors on the mat, it's not as easy to get that feedback. So we're outside today on the real grass on the driving range, get to get the feedback on that. So we've got the three iron heads with us today. Thomas is going to hit shots with all three. We're going to see what Trackman tells us about each one. So you ready to hit some shots, Thomas? Yeah, let's hit some shots. At first, just want to touch on the specs with them, just to kind of talk about the loft okay. differences. So Shrixon ZX4, 28 and a half degrees of loft on it. It's kind of a little more kind of game improvement iron, yeah. essentially. Then the ZX5 has got 31 degrees of loft on it. It's kind of more maybe in that kind of little more player's distance iron, mm -hmm. a little bit leading towards a little bit more cavity-like. And then we also have the Shrixon ZX7, which has 32 degrees of loft on it. Okay. As I mentioned, they've been killing in fittings, and I've actually been doing quite a lot of combo sets this year with the ZX5, ZX7, because oh. their lofts are very, very similar talking about one degree difference. So it's been very easy to do a combo set for those golfers that want a little more forgiveness in the five, a little more workability in the seven. So they've been killing it, but I'm excited to hit some shots. All right, let's do it. These feel really good. That was a good swing. So they feel solid. Um, I know, and you mentioned the look. So uh, I know you've done all kinds of testing with, you know, players kind of cavity irons. Um, I mean, it, it, that almost looks like it kind of would fit right in with kind of like the ZX7. I mean, you're going to hit the ZX7 next here, but um, I would imagine that look probably that's not that different. Yeah, you mentioned that it fits kind of right in with the ZX7. I mean, it does. I talked about a combo set. It's kind of a done a lot of those this year with the five and the seven. For me, it's that, it's that top line. So I know in millimeters that the Strixon ZX5 and ZX7 are very, very similar in size with their top line, where some manufacturers, their more players distance irons or their game improvement irons are quite significantly thicker on that, on that top line. And as a player looking down at it, I can see this is a five. It looks very good. So at a dress, it just looks really clean and it honestly just looks more like a cavity back from looking down at a dress. <laughs> well, Thomas, let's move to ZX7. Okay, sounds good. Thomas, ZX7 and ZX5, actually pretty similar you know, performance uh, out of them. I mean, you gained less than a yard with the ZX5 compared to ZX7, but um, I noticed a difference in sound uh, just a little bit, a little bit softer ZX7. Did you notice anything uh, in terms of feel? And then also, did they look that much different? I mean, they both felt really crisp off the face. I mean, the ZX7, with it being a little more cabbing back, it is a little softer. I mean, I talked about that top line, very, very similar on the top line look. I'd say the ZX7, just a little bit smaller from kind of heel to toe. 
not much, but just a little bit, a little bit cleaner, a little bit smaller, kind of overall with clubs, the, the club head size. One thing that impressed me with the ZX7, and I'm, I've talked about this club in the past, even like going back to the Srixon Z, even like the 785, something like that, they've always been kind of like spin killers, essentially. So I've noticed that the spin rate has always been kind of a little bit lower when I've been testing the Strixon yeah. CX-7 or 785s or anything like that. And we kind of noticed that there. It didn't spin much more than the ZX-5, even though it's got a degree more loft on it. Right. I mean, your both clubs spun less than 6,000 RPM. Um, I think the, I mean, really, so the difference is like, you know, you did spin the Z, or excuse me, swing the ZX-7 a little faster, so that kind of, um, you know, generated a little bit more of the extra numbers there. But overall, I mean, they're, they're performed very similarly across the board, which yep. um, is interesting because they are constructed differently, but I mean, they look and they feel pretty similar. Yeah, and I, I like a distance player's iron that's not going to give you that flyer, it's not going to yeah. give you that wide distance that's going to go crazy far or anything like that. Uh, I like the distance to go at same distance every single time. And that's what we kind of mm -hmm. know, even with the five and then the seven was just complementary of that and just a slightly smaller package. Okay, well now here's kind of the new one into the mix, ZX4 that we haven't tested yet on yep. the channel. The ZX4, look, I mean, just a brief look at the club head, a little bigger, um, extra size to it, so um, we'll see how that compares to these two. Yeah, it looks a little more gamey. I haven't hit it yet myself either, so I'm excited to hit it. Okay. That felt like that just took off the club face. Interesting, I feel like it oh didn't, boy. it didn't like sound that different <laughs> That thing just like... Maybe the wind dropped, died down a little on that mm. shot or not, but it just looked like it kind of kind of low the air spin. a little bit more. Yeah. That's almost a thousand RPM lower spin yeah. on the first shot. Interesting, that one's a little different. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. That one kind of ballooned in the air a little bit compared to the last one. picked up a little on that one. Let's see how the spin rate did on that one. Yeah, it still stayed pretty down yeah. pretty good. Still relatively low. Yeah. I'm surprised at how soft that sound mm -hmm. is. You expect hollow to be really right. like clicky. You expect a larger club head like that to really kind of have that clicky noise to it, but it seem, yeah. doesn't seem like it does. It feels lighter too. I'm, I'm not trying to swing that much faster. It seems like my speed has kind of jumped up a little bit with these as well. Interesting. But with that speed, club speed jumping up a little bit, I think that spin rate stayed down. It's kind yeah, of it has. Interesting thing. I mean, you're, we're talking about, about, on average right now, about 700 Six to 700 RPM lower right now. Yep. Now I know the loft plays into that too, but. That'll be interesting because I got that one a little bit thin. So Thomas, I was surprised by the sound. A lot softer than I would have expected a club head that's kind of that large to, to sound. Usually you got, uh, you know, it's just louder, a little bit more clicky, I guess is the term you use, but you didn't get that from this club. And so, um, and then in addition to that, you know, I thought pretty good performance from that club. Yeah, my first thought when I'm hitting this as a you know a better player, I'm always thinking about the top of my bag. Yeah. I'm like, I wonder if they have like a free iron version of this. But obviously <laughs> they've got the ZX utility driving irons yeah. anyway. But I'm like, this thing felt pretty good. Maybe I could do the four iron and bend yeah. it a little stronger. And but yeah, it was it felt incredibly good in mm -hmm. the sense of what I'm saying there. And I was impressed with how it when the first shot I hit was just like all of a sudden just shot off the face. I was like, wow, this thing is like a, like a rocket. Yeah. Uh, a little less spin, not like to the point where it's spinning way too low. We're still spin talking in that low 5,000 yeah. range, um, but it was a good feeling golf club. Mm -hmm. A little bit larger now when we're talking about kind of the game improvement category. The top line is a little bit thicker looking at, down at it. Um, definitely a little larger sole. Yeah. And we talked a little bit about this VT sole. Now, I probably wouldn't be the candidate right now that would probably really take advantage of the VT sole because my attack angle you notice here of the turf interaction, I'm hitting down on a little bit, but I'm not the person that takes massive divots. Yeah. The Strix on ZX4, 5, and 7 would be exceptionally good options for those players that do take a little bit more turf coming through yeah. to help reduce that spin rate, but also the VT sole is just going to help with that turf interaction. Yeah. It's a little bit more evident, you can kind of see it on that larger sole, kind of seeing it, you can feel it raised a little bit yeah. on the bottom there as well. Yeah, there's like a couple kind of tears there, if you will, on the, yep. on the sole there that kind of it's that's a kind of a unique shape in in golf, uh, but Zrixon they can definitely see the benefits of it. Um, and then speaking on the numbers here, so interesting. You know, we, t we you've talked a lot about Zrixon irons being spin killers, I guess. And so all three of these irons spun below 6,000 RPM on average. Um, ZX4 obviously was the uh, least you know spin, which we would have expected given loft and given how the club is 
is created. Um, 5382 on average for spin there. And then the ZX7 was actually in the middle at 5801, followed by 5966, the ZX5. So ZX5 actually spun the most. Um, now I will note that it seemed like you didn't quite catch ZX7 as efficiently as ZX5, so that could be part of it as well. It could be but, part of it, yep. Um, interesting though, I mean, they are spin killers. I mean, they, in terms of maybe comp like comparing it to other brands with similar irons in that, those categories, um, you'll probably get less spin with Shrixon. Yeah, and then for testing outside today too, we're using the type, this Proby 1X golf ball. Yeah. That generally speaking is the higher spinning, higher launching golf ball yeah. as well. Um, so it's interesting that the spin rate was staying down pretty well, even with you using mm -hmm. a more higher spinning golf ball too. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely spin killers. And I've, I've definitely noticed it with a ZX7 for sure. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it was spinning just a little bit more than the, mm -hmm. than the five. Now we're talking a one degree difference, so I wouldn't expect it to be a major difference between them anyway. But in the past, I've, I've noticed with that Strix on the ZX7 yeah. or even going back to the 785, 765s, they've been very low spinning irons. Mm -hmm. We've been talking on you know distance here, so we, of course ZX4 went the furthest, given kind of the stronger loft. Uh, I was about 10 yards further than the ZX5 and ZX7, um, both in terms of carry and total distance. There, um, it was actually the highest too. ZX4 was the highest in the air, which I think is something to note because I think a lot of times you think of a kind of a strong lofted sort of they term loft, loft jacking uh, for an iron, and you think it kind of doesn't quite go as high. At least for you and the speed you generate, it was able to get. 10 feet higher than the ZX7, six feet higher than the ZX5. Um, so I mean, the numbers are all good. And then if we look at the dispersion here, interesting that all of your shots on average, well, all of them were right of the center line with the ZX4. And then you kind of had more of the draw coming into play with the ZX5 and ZX7. So that does kind of speak to the more workability that you'll get out of the ZX5 and ZX7 versus ZX4. Yeah, this will probably just kind of fly pretty straight while the other two are just, mm -hmm. as they get a little sleeker, a little more workable irons, especially yeah. in the five and the seven. Yeah, and then you also have noted a couple of times maybe you missed the ZX7, or excuse me, you, you missed the ZX4 a little bit there, and the performance didn't really drop. Maybe a spin, what, 200, 300 RPM, a little bit higher, but that's it. So yeah. interesting, uh, just good forgiveness, you know, low spin distance out of the ZX4. And then, of course, ZX5 and ZX7, as we've already tested on the channel, uh, really solid irons uh, for, you know, both players' distance and kind of players' cavity categories. Yeah, I think Strixon ZX4, it's very complimentary in what Strixon have for their current irons. I wish I had kind of tested a little bit earlier on. I'm, you know, I wish I would put it more in the, in the fitting bay because it is performing really well. I think it's a good competitor to those other game improvement irons that are out there. It looks pretty good. It's got a uh, sizable forgiveness to it. Mm -hmm. um, I we talked about that those miss hits, the spin rate didn't even jump over 6,000 RPMs, even on the ones I got a little thin. Yeah. So that sorted out to me. So there is definitely a great level of forgiveness with the ZX4. ZX5 is kind of right in the middle and the kind of distance players iron just looks good, plays plays well. And then ZX7 is a little more workable and sure. spin killer still. Sure. Well, yeah, it's tricks on ZX irons, all three models today. Great test here. Uh, clearly, and all three have performed really well in fittings for a reason. Uh, Shrixon did a great job building these irons, and they're performing well for amateurs and professionals, as you're seeing on tour as well. Uh, so, if you're interested in Shrixon ZX irons, of course you know what to do. You can stop into a Second Swing store location. You can schedule your fitting online on the Second Swing fitting website, or you can call our team and set up a fitting that way with one of our experts and get fit like a pro for Shrixon ZX irons. So, Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots today and breaking everything down for us. Not a problem.